Perhaps the most iconic part of the inauguration, the swearing in, is also the cheapest. A couple dozen words that make up the oath, the construction of the stage, and a subsequent lunch, with a price tag of about a million dollars, with more than half being covered by funds appropriated by the U.S. Congress. Then there's the cost of the events during the day, the parade, the balls, the concert, at another $20 million. But compare that to the cost of safeguarding all of it, in a capital city that's practically shut down. An estimated 30,000 personnel from dozens of state, local and federal agencies that have been brought in, plus their equipment. That adds to a whopping $100 million. And transportation and emergency services could double that figure. But who pays? Like previous incoming presidents, Trump has an inaugural committee. It's comprised mostly of wealthy loyalists who are pitching in. So far, Trump's has raised $90 million, a number that could still grow as private donors fork out big bucks to see the new president on his first day in office. A $1 million ticket gets you or your corporation, quote, a candlelight dinner with the Trumps and Pence's. If you're on a tighter budget, you could opt instead for one of the galas. Tickets start at $150. But staying in Washington, D.C. this weekend is pricey. The average cost for hotel rooms still available runs about $500 a night. President Obama held 10 galas. Trump is holding only three. And still his Inauguration Day costs are expected to exceed his predecessors. Trump has loosened the rules regulating donations. And his committee has raised more money than both of Obama's inaugurations combined. But taxpayers will pay any outstanding differences. Just how much? Trump officials say the final figures will only be revealed in the weeks ahead. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.